Beauvais. Social media are so pervasive today in large and small businesses, it's important for business communication instructors to teach students how to write when they use these new media tools. For example, students should learn how to write tweets for Twitter and other microblogs, and instant messages for services such as Yahoo Messenger and Skype, and posts for corporate blogs, and status updates, announcements, and responses to both positive and negative complaints from customers using businesses pages on Facebook, and for social networking on LinkedIn and Plaxo, and for collaboration on wikis. Teach your students to succeed when they write using social media by helping them sharpen their skills for each of these nine compositional modes that John Phil, my co-author, and I describe in our text. The nine compositional modes for social media are conversations, comments and critiques, orientations, summaries, reference materials, narratives, teasers, status updates and announcements, and tutorials. Instant messaging is a great example of a written medium that mimics spoken conversation. The ability to think, compose, and type relatively quickly is important to maintaining the flow of an electronic conversation. One of the most powerful aspects of social media is the opportunity for interested parties to express opinions and provide feedback, whether it's leaving comments in a blog post or reviewing products on an e-commerce site. Sharing helpful tips and insightful commentary is also a great way to build a personal brand. To be an effective commenter, teach students to focus on short chunks of information that a broad spectrum of other site visitors will find helpful. With vast amounts of information presented in so many different formats, the Internet can be an extremely confusing place, even for knowledgeable professionals. The ability to help people find their way through an unfamiliar system or subject is a valuable writing skill and a talent that readers greatly appreciate. Unlike summaries, orientations don't give away the key points in the collection of information, but rather tell readers where to find those points. Writing effective orientations can be a delicate balancing act because you need to know the material well enough to guide others through it, while being able to step back and view it from the inexperienced perspective of a newbie. We teach students that summaries can serve several purposes. At the beginning of an article or web page, it serves as a miniature version of the document. In other instances, the upfront summary helps a reader decide whether to invest the time needed to read the full document. At the end of an article or web page, a summary functions as a review. One of the greatest benefits of the Internet is the access it can provide to vast quantities of reference materials, numerical or textual information that people typically don't read in a linear sense, but rather search through to find particular data points, trends, or other specific elements. One of the challenges of writing reference material is you can't always know how readers will want to access it. Making the information accessible by way of search engine is an important step. However, readers don't always know which search terms will yield the best results. So we teach students to include an orientation and organize the material in logical ways with clear headings that promote skimming. The storytelling techniques we cover can be effective in a wide variety of situations. From company histories to product reviews and demonstrations, we teach students that narratives work best when they have an intriguing beginning that piques a reader's curiosity. A middle section moves quickly through the challenges that an individual or company faced, and an inspiring or instructive ending that gives readers information they can apply in their own lives and jobs. Teasers intentionally withhold key pieces of information on a way to pull readers or listeners into a story or other document. Teasers are widely used in marketing and sales messages, such as a bit of copy on the outside of an envelope that promises important information on the inside. In electronic media, the space limitations and URL linking capabilities of Twitter and other microblogging systems make them a natural tool for the teaser approach. While they can certainly be effective, teasers need to be used sparsely and with respect for readers' time and intelligence. We teach students that the payoff, the information a teaser links to, should be valuable and legitimate, and that they'll quickly lose credibility if readers think they're being tricked into clicking through the information they don't really want. If a person uses social media frequently, much of the writing will involve status updates and announcements. We tell students that being mindful of a criticism frequently leveled at personal users of social media will help them be a more effective business user of these media, namely, 
Don't post trivial information that only they are likely to find interesting. Post only those updates that readers will find useful and include only the information they need. Given the community nature of social media, the purpose of many messages is to share how-to advice. One of the biggest challenges with tutorials is gauging the level of understanding the target readers have about the subject so the writing can be at the appropriate level. Are the readers beginners, experts, or somewhere in between? In addition, the writer needs to make the assumptions clear so readers can tell if the information is right for them. A good place to do this is in the titles. Using phrases such as getting started with or advanced techniques for to alert readers about the level of the tutorial. Whatever level of information is provided, the advice needs to be clear, complete, and logically organized. To teach your students to write for social media, request an examination copy of Bovin Thill's business communication textbooks. Call Pearson Education at 800-526-0485. For a rich array of resources for teaching social media and electronic communication, go to Business Communication Headline News. Look under Categories in the left-hand column and select the topics in which you're interested. For teaching tips and techniques, often about social media and electronic communication, go to Bove and Phil's blog at www.boveandphilbusinesscommunicationblog.com. For more than 175 PowerPoint slideshows, many dealing with social media and electronic communication, go to Real-Time Updates and select Instructor Media. Watch business communication videos on Bove and Phil's video channel on YouTube. To find the channel, go to youtube.com and enter Bove and Phil in the search box. Thanks for watching.